I ask you, my friends, what has become of our Silver City? That decent, law-abiding community where men, women, and children could walk the streets without fear. Silver City has become a sin city. And why? Why this terrible shame upon us? All because of that woman, that devil's deputy herself, that spawn of greed and corruption who calls herself Lil, that stranger who inherited Silver City and forces you to pay tribute for the very air you breathe. She and her evil cohort have turned our town into a sink of iniquity, a den of thieves, of Sodom and Gomorrah. And what's being done about this? Nothing. I say to you, the time has come to gird our hearts with courage and clean out this foulness. We must forget our fears and fight fire with fire. We must drive these parasites out of our town. Come on, Sky Pilot, you're going for a little trip. Keep right on talking, preacher. He's just another one of them. As I told you, Cameron. Even more on. Anybody else got any objections? I know it's Burrow. No silver. It's all made of wood and mud like any other town. Pancho no seas tonto. Did you expect it to be built out of real silver? Yeah, but you don't call a house a stone house when it's made out of wood. And you can't call it silver city when it's made out of mud. Come on, we can't get no silver here. Hey, spare a you. Who cares about silver? I do. I see 200 miles in a hot saddle when I could be in a nice cool container. Come on, let's win. You know, I'm going to miss you, compadre. Someday, maybe, we'll meet again. Who knows? Adios. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, if we didn't come here to get the silver, why we come here? Mira. You know, can you keep a secret, amigo? Yeah, if it takes two of my friends to help me. Bueno, pues entonces, in San Blas, they tell me that there's a very beautiful widow here in town. Her name is Lil, and she has a pair of eyes. Ah, demonio. We ride all this way in this dog pan just to get a look at a girl named Lil, eh? Mr. Pancho, you know I love to look at pretty senoritas. Yeah, you got plenty senoritas. You got Dolores and Rosario, Francisquita, Estelita. With one little crook of your fingers, they jump to you. Pues hermanito, just because a man has enjoyed a plum on a few grapes, must he turn his back on a peach when he finds one, eh? Cámaro! <laughs> Cisco, look!
Not so fast, senor. Take it easy. A little at a time. That's better. You'll be all right now. Oh, God bless you, stranger. But what happened to you, senor? I was preaching. They beat me and ran me out of town. But who could do this to a nice preacher people? Those poor misguided souls in Silver City. They... Oh, <laughs> senor. Rest a while. You can tell us more about this lake. Hey, Pancho, get the blanket. <laughs> Bell. Like a breath of spring, my dear. Hmm. Being a widow must agree with you. What's it here? Oh, she's upset because we invited that preacher to leave town. You bet I'm upset. I don't mind playing nursemaid to a phony widow, and I don't mind you grabbing up a dead man's property or any other part of this window, but I do mind what you did to that preacher. What'd you expect us to do? Sit on our hands while he stirred up trouble? This is a sweet setup. Money pouring in from the mines, a little rent here and there, and taking the rest of it over the tables. It's going to stay that way. Well, mark my word, you're heading into trouble. Oh, don't mind her. She's superstitious. I'll handle any trouble that comes my way. Not the kind you get from beating up preachers and from murder. What murder? That man Rocky shot today? He only got a flesh wound. Is that what they told you? Huh. I'm sorry, Lil. The fella did die afterwards. Rocky only meant to... I don't care what he meant to do. I told you I wouldn't stand for killings. I want the word passed on to the men. Aren't you getting a bit high and mighty, my dear? After all, this is my plan, and... And don't forget I can blow the lid off any time I don't like it. Now, look, don't get all steamed up, sweetheart. It was only an accident, and it won't happen again. I've got an appointment at the mine office. You better see how the house is doing. Didn't I say you'd get in beyond your depth? Don't worry about me. I learned this woman I was knee-high to a duck. Padre, Silver City has always had a good name. How can a good town turn bad so quick? It all came about through the death of a man, one Jim Mason. A Jim Mason? <laughs> I know what it is, a stone mason, but a Jim Mason, I don't know. I... Dieting. He was the man who founded Silver City and owned most of it. He was a good man, helped everybody, but unfortunately he died in a cave-in at the mine. And a few weeks later, a woman came to town, laid claim to all of his property, put her attorney in charge at the mines, and set herself up in a fancy saloon. Since then, Silver City hasn't drawn a clean breath. But then what did she base her claim? She was his widow. His widow? Why, she did not even live here. No, we didn't even know Jim was married, but she offered proof that was unquestionable. I think Silver City needs such three fellows as ourselves. Yeah. Hey, Pancho. Yeah. And I am two of them. <laughs> Senor, are you strong enough for the ride? I'm strong enough, but if you ride into town with me, your lives won't be worth a nickel. <laughs> Our lives? <laughs> they are not worth a nickel to anyone except ourselves. Vamonos. Padre, this uh, woman, this Mason, could it be that her first name was Lil? I hope not. Well, yes, how did you know? Oh, I am physic, and besides, this fellow come here to... Caiety. Yes, senor. <laughs> but what were you about to say, Pancho? Oh, nothing, nothing at all, senor, nothing. <laughs> Just figured out that I didn't been here at all. Lo que sufrido con este hombre. something of importance to say to you. Just... Don't, 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 don't be nervous. Now, you're going to listen to him, or you're going to listen to my pistola. Now, put that in your smoke and pipe it. I merely wish to say to those interested that services will be held on Sunday, as usual. There will be no 
be no services held in this house, Sunday or any other time. I do not like to disagree with one so beautiful, senora, but I assure you are mistaken. Look at here, you, whatever your name is. If Please you do not interrupt when I'm speaking to such a lovely senora. The name is Cisco, a la orden de usted, senora. And I am Don Pancho Gonzalez Miguelito. All right, Don Pancho, the Molly's Miguel Acutti, and you too, senor Cisco. You may as well take your friend back where you found him. He won't be preaching in Silver City. You want to bet? Pancho, such manners. You know, you must never bet on a sure thing with a lady. It is not pleasant to leave the smiles of one so charming, senora. But I know you'll understand. There is so very much to do with the preparation of the church and the... Pues, adios. Drop this, amigo. Not so fast, amigo. It is not polite. Turn around. Pues, turn around. Is this one of them, Padre? What a bad thing to strike a man of God. You should be taught better manners. First in the pine box it was Rocky. Forget Rocky. I'll handle this my way. You ought to your mind. It's a man-sized job and a tough one at that. <laughs> you tried that and look what it got you. Steve, if I want to, so don't make me want to. The hot boiled oil is finally filled. A plan and sinker. Oh, I wouldn't say that. But I guess a girl could do worse. Don't be too sure, kid. His kind don't tame too easy. Oh, nonsense. In less than a week, he'll be eating out of my hand. And more likely, gnaw it off at the wrist. Señor? <laughs> Muchas gracias. No hay de qué.
Hey, amigo. We have to work a little faster. Or we'll run out of paint before we are finished. Caray, I, I didn't think of that. How do you like that? Now they're turning one of the buildings into a church. So I noticed from my roof. Where are you going? For a walk. Hey, sis, do this paint smell like the Ula old nest? They give me a headache right here. Pancho, I'm disappointed on you. You are painting a church. That brush on your hand is your personal key to heaven. To heaven? Well, see. And the faster you use it, the quicker you get. Better? Get well, no. <laughs> hey, all my horses. To be in heaven, you've got to be very dead, and I am too young to die. <laughs> and too pretty. Hey, hey. Mira no más. Hey, hold this one, too. I don't have to have two keys for one lock. Well, senora, I see you have remembered my invitation to meet me in church, eh? But you are too early. The doors will not be open until Sunday. As I told you once before, the doors aren't going to open at all. <laughs> you want to bet, senora? Get back to work, Pancho. Bueno. Oh. Hey, cuidado, amigo. Look what you did. I must apologize for my friend, senor. Permit me. Your friend is a fool. Obviously. Only a fool would paint to Lily. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think you and I are going to get along very nicely together. Oh, but of course, senora. Unless one of your men kills me before we get acquainted. Hold it just like that, senora, for one moment. This is the way I'd like to see you in my dreams tonight. Tonight? Oh, I'm disappointed. I spent most of last night dreaming of you. Truly? Then I must make a confession. I did the same. Nice dreams, I hope. Oh, delightful. I dreamed you were awake all night, planning ways to get rid of me. <laughs> that calls for no planning. In fact, it may be hard to prevent. Unless I can persuade you to come to work for me. Ah, senora. I would like nothing better. If you'll help me clean up Silver City. Oh, and ruin my business? Not a chance. Then I'm sorry. I must continue to work with this parcel. Well, suit yourself. But remember, the population of Boot Hill is mostly men who thought too late. Mm -hmm. Gracias, senor. That I shall remember. And uh, shall I see you in church? I hope. <laughs> if you do, you'll be flat on your back with candles at head and foot. jump on you, but I had to do it to dodge that bullet. That was quick thinking, you know? Yeah, amigo. It was quick thinking. <laughs> Not the jump, but the explanation. Oh. Not worth the bloodshed, Cisco. I think I'll give it up. No, Padrecito, we do not give up. But I think it will be safer if we take you up somewhere in the hills to camp for until Sunday, huh? Vamonos. Let's win. there was to be no more gunplay. Can I help it if Idaho got ideas of his own? He's one of your men. You'll either keep them in line or I'll... Yeah, I know. You'll blow the lid off. I've heard that tune so often, I know it by heart. Come on, Rocky. Take care of Idaho. Don't crowd him too far, kid. Why not? I've got the whip hand and he knows it. you got nothing on him but a shot in your back and crush up. No, Padre, 
Like I was telling you, there was Cisco and me and 36 bandidos. And we didn't got no weapons at all. We didn't got nothing. Well, I had my riata and a long stick and two kinds of fish. So I take the fish and put on the end of my riata and... Hey, hello, where are you going from? My good friend Pancho, I often feel that your utter disregard of the syntax is only exceeded by your misconception of the juxtaposition of the preposition and the substantive. Hey, you don't tell me. <laughs> you know, Paddy, that is the nicest compliment Cisco ever put me. I think. Senor, did it ever occur to you how simple our problem is to see if this woman did were not Mason's widow? I'm afraid that's a vain hope, Cisco. The proof she offered was unquestionable. What proof, senor? A marriage certificate, for one thing. June 15th, 20 years ago, in Callaway, Oklahoma. Oh, but that could be a forgery. It could easily be ascertained from the search of the records. I tried. The courthouse is burned, and all the records with it. Uh-huh. A convenient fire, no? Perhaps a too convenient one. Senor. As a preacher, did you ever meet anyone who was holy even? Why, never, Cisco. In everyone, no matter how depraved, there burns a white spark of good. It's the Almighty's mark on all of us. Even and this woman we know as Lil? <laughs> yes, I suppose there must be some good even in her. But it's very deep. Perhaps if we brush the ashes aside very gently, it could be found, no? It's worth a try. Wait, I take my horse and go with you. No, huh? Pancho, if you stay here, I see that no harm comes to the party. Adios. like we was talking. Uh, the buen Dios, uh, God, he is everywhere. Huh? Of course. He is a good shepherd. He look after his flocks no matter where they hide. Listen. Well, then I'm going to leave you here and he will look after you while I go put my eye on Cisco. Huh? Twenty-four is bigger than twenty-one, don't you? Yeah, too much bigger. 
new rules. Support this cousin, and I like this. I haven't seen that man trap since New Orleans. Oh, that's not just a miracle. What are you doing here, little man? Oh, I, oh, I. I thought maybe you need somebody to jump over the house again on you. That's very fine. And I suppose you have told everyone that I was coming here. Oh no, no, I didn't. I, I told him to ask you when you got here. Is that right? Right. As always, you are right, Manchito. Hey. Why don't you be a little caballero and buy a drink for the young lady? You no, I was just going to do that. <laughs> and if you need someone to call on me, I'll call on you. I don't can do it here. He's a mind reader. <laughs> do they sell champagne here? Yes, indeed. Fine. And two beers. Say 20. Did you really come here to gamble or just sit and stare at me? Mostly to look at you. If I have to gamble to do so, then I will gamble. You are lovely. You don't expect me to believe all that, do you? Of course not. But you like me, don't you? Why not? I'm a woman. Yes. Yes, you are a woman. You like it. You can hit me. A little too hard. I was wondering if you've changed your mind about coming to work for me. I'm afraid not, senorita. You see, I do not like to work. It is very distasteful. Say 18. 19. If I must work, then I like a job that will last. You are about to go and see what makes you think so? Say 18. Well, you're kind of cute. I adore a man with big black eyes. You do? So did my wife. You know, I got a big family, eight little boys and six other kinds. What a man. I'll buy you a drink. <laughs> yeah. oh. Mr. Lane has been telling me about your marriage certificate. What about it? Oh, nothing. Nothing much. You are dealing with nothing. Now think about your wedding, Senora. You were married on my birthday, June 15th. Really? You know, most senoritas are afraid to be married on the 13th. I was never superstitious. And you were never really married to Jim Mason either, Senorita. No girl ever forgets her wedding day. The date was the 15th, not the 13th. So I've got a bad memory for dates. Pay 15. Thirteen. Why don't you get out of this field again? At heart, you are a woman. Do we play cards or holding funny school? I do not see how you could have told either for to kill me in cold blood. <laughs> You did not have been so enthusiastic, senorita. You got the little lady all wrong, Cisco. She didn't tell Ida how to shoot you. When we had to get rid of someone, we played smart. He's always killed in self-defense with plenty of witnesses. Well, there's an accident of some kind. They can't kick back on us. Well, there's lots of ways. Maybe you'll find out about one of them. Please, you're not going to. I'm not going to do anything unless you force my hand. I'll go back to the room and we'll talk this over. I suppose one of these little accidents will happen to me while we're back there, eh? Could be. Unless you keep yourself in hand. You're forgetting my partner's Oh, no. You're gonna tell him to clear out. You've got business. Well, then you better make it sound convincing. Joe, in your hint to me, start with the other con larma escondida and so Why don't you say it in English so we can all understand it? Perdóneme, senor. Pancho. You better go back to camp. I have business with this senor. It may take a long time. <laughs> Just as soon as I finish my beer, eh? I know. Need to see where they are.
Senor Gentry comes too. Tell him to learn Spanish. It can be very useful. to drag him out from under his rock. You'll keep your hands off of him and let me... And let you handle it with your feminine charms? Your feminine charms. You couldn't lure a weasel into a hen coop. From now on, I'll handle him in my own way. As I should have done from the start. You seem to forget that everything in Silver City is in my name. Everything was in your name, my dear. But now it's in mine. This is a quick claim deed to everything you thought you owned. Made out to me. You think I'll sign it? You already have mine. You remember? Forgery. It's just as easy to forge a deed as it was that marriage certificate of yours. So why don't you be a nice little girl? To get you a once queen bee in this their camp down in Satan's Saddle. All right, get my horse. I'll talk to the boys. Their camp is under that juniper at the foot of them rocks. We'll slip up closer and get him from two sides. We'll catch him flat. About two miles up Smoke Creek Canyon, you'll come to a broad trail. Follow it to the left, and it will lead you straight to the mine. Yes, to the mine, huh? I didn't know I was going to the mine. Maybe we will get the silver after all, huh? I hope to find there something more important than silver. And if we find it, we'll turn it over to the sheriff, and his troubles will be all over. <laughs> if we find the silver, all our troubles will be over. Well, take care for yourself. and I'll drop down into the ghost behind them. You men circle around ahead of them and drive them back to us. Give the quail call when you're set. Wait for our answer. Patito, patito, color de café. Tú no me quieres, yo no sé por qué. La pata voló, el paso también. Adiós, adiós, adiós. Patito, patito, color.
Well, you hear the quail birds singing? <laughs> Maybe I better go shoot a couple of hundred for supper. I cook them with chili. Hey. I wonder why these quail have stopped all of a sudden, eh? <laughs> Maybe they hear I was going to cook them a little. Hey, Pancho, hmm. have you seen any quail around here? Well, <laughs> yeah, the Lil and Bell and... I mean the ones with the real wings. Oh, well, I, I hear them singing. Over there and... Oh, here. That is what I do not like. This is a bad place for an ambush. Pancho, we change our course. Oh.
finger puncher. Come on, hurry up. Before the Latina Poblana. You know what you are going to do. Caete. Venga. Oh. It's this boy. I don't like this place. It's too dark. I can't find myself. Nothing to be afraid of, aren't you? Hey, look behind one of those things. You might find a piece of candle or a lamp or some kind of this. There's gonna be some powder in that shed. Cards. Hello, my dear. You're just in time to celebrate. Celebrate what? The passing of a nosy caballero. See, you didn't. And his partner, too. You're pretty rotten. That's a woman for you. I save her a whole setup for her. So thanks, I guess. They got him, though. Francisco? He's good. That's pretty tough. I always told you, business in the heart don't make. Look, I don't want sympathy and I don't want left. Mm -hmm. 
I'm not going to go into that saloon. Not until I have a talk with Lynn. All right, let's win today. You are not going. You are going to stay back here and cover my rear. Covered with what? Hey, with your pistol. How long are you going to be? We can solve it. How long does it take to catch a rabbit? For the ocean, at a time like this, he wants to go rabbit hunting. Instead of making love to you, I have come to take you to the sheriff. To the sheriff? For what? Well, for the many wicked things that have happened in Silver City. Among them, the murder of Senor Mason. Oh, you're barking up the wrong tree, Cisco. Well, Lil didn't even know Mason. Sorry, Cisco. I might now. No harm done, senorita. I already knew they were not married. All right, so you knew. But Mason wasn't murdered. He died in a landslide. Si, senorita, but it was not an accidental one. All right, so maybe he was murdered. Why blame it on Lil? Well, who had most to gain by his death? I think we better speak to the sheriff. Eh? All right, I'll get it back. I never had a part in any killings anywhere, Cisco. But try to take me to the sheriff, and I will. This is going to be a very interesting experience being killed by a woman. It has never happened to me before. Hey, either use that pistol or put it down, Kerry. Look, Cisco, I'll make a bargain with you. What kind of a bargain? I'm fed up with the whole deal. I was packing to take the first stage on. Let me go ahead and I'll tell you all I know about the whole thing. A full confession is good for the soul, Senorita. But it has to be made without the hope of reward. You might as well tell him, dearie. You ain't got the nerve to shoot. All right, I'll give it to you straight and take what's coming to me. I said no, Angel, but I didn't know Mason had been murdered. I thought it was an accident, and I stood to get fixed for life. It was Steve's idea from the first, so it must have been him who... Look out! Thank you. 
Turn around, Gentry. And no tricks. Turn around, I said. What do you say? You can read for yourself? Hmm? Gracias, Bell. Adios. Told the preacher that there's a little bit of wood in the works a lot. <laughs> if Pancho, Senorita Lou has learned her lesson. <laughs> hey, Pancho. How far it is to San Lorenzo? San Lorenzo, but Lily's waiting in the church. Si, sí, Rosalita's waiting in San Lorenzo. <laughs> San Lorenzo! Ah, ya vamos! Ah, ya! Yeah! 